Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Well I'm back from my holiday and I couldn't wait to get started on some hollow nails. These are absolutely beautiful and are only using two EDK polishes. All the details are in the description of where to purchase. As always we're going to begin by filing and performing cuticle work on the nails and then cleansing them with your preferred cleanser. I'm using 99% isopropyl alcohol. Don't forget to wipe around the free edge of the nails. Next we're going to apply our base coat and I'm using Unt's Ready for Take Off Peel Off Base Coat. Apply to all 10 nails and then allow to dry thoroughly. Now I'm going to apply a coat of Orion from EDK to all 10 nails. This is also a stamping polish and the details of where to buy this are in the description. With this also being a stamping polish, it's incredibly highly pigmented. So you do have a choice here of doing two thin coats or you could do one thicker coat which would actually give you a really good coverage. However, I'm a bit of a perfectionist so I opted for two thinner layers. I've only kept this bit of footage in the video because it's just a total and utter nail porn moment. I've wanted nails like this for years and I've finally got them. And don't they look pretty with purple on? Once the polish is dry, go in with your second coat of colour and apply to all 10 nails. Now after this coat, it is really, really important that you make sure that it's fully dry before you go on to the next stage, otherwise the whole lot could be a total disaster. If you get any polish on the skin, just use a brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone to clean it up. And before I go to the next stage, I just wanted to show you how amazing the hollow is in this polish. In fact, the camera doesn't even capture how perfect this hollow is. Now I'm going to be using this cross design nail stencil from You Nail, and the link is in the description of where you can find this. And I'm only going to be applying these to my middle fingers and my thumb. Now I'm going to use a pair of tweezers to remove the design. Being totally and utterly honest with you, this was the first time I decided to use nail stencils on my nail. And I think I probably picked too complicated a design to use my first time because I really struggled to get this off cleanly. I also really struggled applying it to the nail and getting it nice and even. With a linear design like this, it is important to make sure it's straight if that's the look that you're looking for. And also, I wanted to make sure that that cross was right in the centre of the nail. Once you're happy with having it in the right position on your nail, just push it down either with your fingers and arrange it to make sure it's nice and even. Or you can use a silicone tool just to make sure you've pushed it down around the cuticle area. Now I'm going to use EDK's Andromeda, which is an amazing, amazing hollow silver and just paint this over the nail stencil, just trying to make sure that you don't leave any gaps where there should be silver polish. You might have to wiggle the brush a little bit just to make sure you fill those gaps in. Now for the slightly tricky part, or maybe it's just me because it was my first go, but start to pull off the stencil quite carefully and this is a little bit difficult but you have to do it as soon as you've applied your polish. Do not let your nail polish dry that you've painted over the top. As I said before, I'm a bit of a perfectionist so when it didn't come off absolutely crystal clear I wasn't very happy. So I took one of my silicone tools and tidied it up and anywhere there were gaps, I just applied a little bit of the silver polish to fill in those gaps. I thought I'd film me doing the same to the thumb, just to see if I could get it a little bit better for you on camera this time. It is a learning curve for me this, and sometimes I think my videos show a little bit too much perfection, so I like to show you my struggles along the way. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I also actually found it easier to apply and remove the stencils to the nails with my fingers and not tweezers, but I found it easier to remove them from the backing with a pair of tweezers. Once the polish is dry, it's time to go in with the top coat, and I prefer Setch Feet top coat. And we're also going to be using some Swarovski SS5 crystals in crystal and my crystal katana to apply them. Full links are in the description for all the products. The two nails that we've left purple we're going to top coat and leave to dry. But for our two middle fingers and our thumb, we're going to paint each one individually. And then while the polish is still wet, we're going to apply one of our crystals right to the centre of the design and gently push it down. Finish the design with some cuticle moisturiser. I'm using the SE cuticle pen and just apply this around the nail and then very gently rub in. And here we have the finished look and it really does actually look very, very effective. I hope it gives you some confidence to give this a go as you can see that even though the stencils were a little bit fiddly, it was my first time and I'm still happy with the end result. I'm sure with time I'll actually get better at applying and removing them. Let me know what you think of this design and let me know what you would like to see in the future. Please leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching.